Hello my mom what's and welcome to this video of me doing my makeup and talking about random things. So this all started because I kind of got dressed up to go out today and actually recently I bought this thing. It's a Joa Bear Rose collection. This was such an impulse buy, I literally did not need it. I saw this lady on like Instagram I think and she was like doing this like beautiful, effortless, like amazing look with just these products. So I was a little bit... Influencers were influencing, what can I say? Anyways. So this is the box. It's got a lip liner, a lipstick thing, and then like a blush eyeshadow thing. I really like the color. I also got this random, sorry. I think it's a highlighter. Now I do have my Fenty highlighter that I really love. Anyways, this is cute. Oh, look, it's you. Oh my gosh, you're on the packaging. Ooh, is this not a highlighter? It looks dark. Oh no, highlighter. Interesting. Oh, please focus. Okay, so this is the highlighter. Um, why did I open the highlighter before I open the actual thing? Uh, uh. This is the lipstick. Looks a bit scuffed, but it's cute. That we all lip liner. Oh, there we go. Okay, that helped. Wow, focuses so well. Wow, this is smaller than I expected. I don't know. It looks so big in this lady's video. Oh no, I guess so. And then this is the thing. It's a bit darker than I expected. Now. Why am I doing a makeup tutorial? Literally as the sun is setting with natural light, I'm not sure. But anyways, so I'm gonna show off my outfit. Influences are real, okay? Cause I keep buying things based on Instagram videos. Now I love this top, but it's a bit like awkward. So, oof, oof, can you see it? Basically it's a dress, okay? So I have a white dress underneath. I got that from Uniqlo. The top and skirt I got from Etsy, from like a, I'm pretty sure it's an Indonesian, fashion clothing thing. I saw this Instagram video of this girl who had like a white dress and then put these, laid it with these and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. And then I looked on the site and then actually they only shipped to a few countries. They didn't ship to Australia yet. But then like I checked like a few weeks later and then they opened an Etsy for like more international shipping um, and Australia was one of them. So I was like, yeah. So I got this, um, it's really cute. I also got like a, a red and a bl black, like with the patterns, but I like the green combo. I think it's really cute. I will say however, I don't know if it's because I got the wrong size, but basically because the straps are here, like they're not further back, the strap just kind of wants to go down. If you can kind of see, like it wants to come back here. So it's just constantly falling off and I'm constantly fixing it. So it's not the most comfortable, but it is cute. Now I'm going to try and do, oh no, this is too compromising. Showing my hairline is too compromising. <laughs> okay. We're going to try with these. That's not as bad. Okay, since I'm going to try out just these products, I'm going to do, I guess, a fairly simple base. I'm talking like I know what I'm doing. This camera, I think, has like a, a beautify filter or something because... I don't know, sometimes my skin, like I put it... I put it on low because I think I had it on medium the last video. I put it on low to see if that would be a bit nicer. But sometimes my skin, it just looks like too clear. Like I'm like, it looks too soft. Will I get some weird infection from this? Because I have no idea how old this is. We'll see. I probably should have got a mirror. Beauty Blender is still nowhere to be found. Where is she? I probably should have just used the normal foundation. I look like I'm getting really white. Okay, let's see. Is this, this sheen looks very white. One thing that really bugs me recently is I just had a cold last week. So I was off work for a couple of days and then the days that I did go into work, 
you know, I had a, a, a jumper, I had a scarf because I'm trying to stay warm, I'm trying to recover. I hate when people are like, are you cold? Are you wearing a scarf? Are you cold? And I'm like, babes, if I was not cold, why would I be wearing a jumper? Why would I be wearing a scarf? Like, don't ask me, is it, are you cold? Yeah, I'm cold. Okay, so I'm gonna try this one. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I, it's a bit, I didn't even blend. Oh, it's a, a lot that I didn't even blend. So there's like the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty, but apparently it's like super pigmented. So they're like, do not recommend it for people who are not like good at makeup because then they can't really like control it too well. So I like this. I was mainly more intrigued by it as cheeks and eyeshadow because that's how the lady did it. And I was like, that's so cute. Should I just wipe it all off? Oh no, I think it's still there. Lip liner. Now, I've never had a lip liner, so I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Because I have that part where it's like, not my lip. It's like my outer lip. Why did something go black? Did I press too much? The liner is hard. <laughs> oh, that is not a clean line at all. Let's see if this will save it. I think that's the best I'm gonna get. Like it. I'm gonna try the highlighter. Oh, whoa. I got a lot. <laughs> I didn't realize the highlighter also had a lot of color in it. So I just got a bruise on my head now. Oops. For reference, I'm used to using this kind of highlighter from Fenty Beauty, so I was not expecting that, but it's very cute. I actually like it. It didn't turn out hideous, so I think it's easy enough for even me to use, which is good. I lost my brow brush recently, so now I'm just using a comb. Is this not going down anymore? Oops. Is that meant to happen? It got stuck. Wow, this is actually really nice. And now that it looks nice, I think I'm okay if I ruin it a little bit. Oh no, I've started it. It's begun. not too bad. I think this is good enough. This is actually not super horrendous and bad. This is so bizarre to me because I did a winged liner and it's not terrible. What's going on? <laughs> Ooh. So this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. Anyway, so I watched Malena and it was like, it was crazy because it was one of those like movies that, you know when you leave a movie and you start feeling like the main character, it was kind of like that, but it was also like one of those movies that literally like altered my brain chemistry. Like it wasn't just, Malena, it was like the whole movie, I was just like, it made me have like this existential crisis. I'm just like, this is, it, 
I don't know. It was so confronting, but so like well done, but so funny at the same time. It was a really good movie. Oops. This actually looks so much nicer than I expected. Oh my gosh! I don't think I've ever done my makeup this nice. Wow, look at her. Who is she? I'm kind of confused. Well, how do I, what do I do? How do I react? What, what's going on? Should I try darker eyeshadow? I really only have like brown. I don't know, should I leave the look as is or try darker eyeshadow? Eh, why not? <laughs> Am I gonna ruin it? Let's see. Oh, I think some got on the bottom of my eye. Oops. Okay, that's looking okay. It's looking... I think if I had all my natural hair, it would suit this cut and a look a bit more. I don't know if that suits better. Anyways, I'm losing light and my family are back. So I think I need to wrap this up. I'm very happy with how I did though. Looks very nice. Bye.